Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're going to have a great and wonderful day, and this video is going to be a little bit long, but I kind of want it to be understandable of what the tragedy happened in this one home here. It is a six minute video, I'll be stopping here and there for some of the stuff, but you guys will get the drift. It is a horrific event that actually happened, but I think more people need to know about it. And uh, I think this is a different way of doing my content, rather than just keep on reporting on what other people are doing, etc, etc. So without further ado, we're going to go into this. So we have this, uh, from Mia Cathel. In my October, on, on Friday 13th, the House of Horrors, where a wealthy Georgia gay couple allegedly routinely raped two special needs little boys they had adopted through the local well child welfare system faster than expected. Our adoption process was opened to the public for an estate sale. The adoptive fathers, LTQ activists William Dale Zulock and Zachary Z Jacoby Zulock, are in jail accused of producing homemade child pornography of this years-long sexual abuse and inviting pedophile clients over to the molester adopted sons, age 9 and 10, when the children were raped at least once a week. As the child prostitution case heads to trial, an open house was held inside the married man's mini mansion, now seized by Walton County, and listed for $729,000. I attended and filmed the public event before being ordered to delete everything. At the state's behest, I did not comply. And good on with you, Mia Cathal. The children's underwear, used bed sheets, six dollars, and mattress from the master's bedroom, six hundred fifty dollars, were among the hundreds of items for sale. All the couple's LGBTQ themed belongings were removed beforehand and out of sight. None of the buyers I talked to, though Atlanta area natives, were aware of what happened inside the home or informed of the merchandise's history. The estate sales proceeds properly went toward a restitution style to trust that established a, on behalf of the abused boys. The cleanup company claimed. Both boys are back in this state's custody, which is usually not good, and return to the foster care cycle, which is, again, not good, with their whereabouts and whom they've been placed with are publicly un not known. Well, I wish I could go into the, um, take place of foster care cycle and all that stuff, but it is very hard to do so. I Like I said, I want to do something about this. I want to do a report on this. I want to do an actual interview slash uh, uh, thing on this because I want to know what the actual foster care system is like. Because I personally have been through the foster care system of when my parents were raising 50 kids. and Or not 50 kids, but had was a foster home for a while. And the things that we went through, the things that I seen the people go through and what they tried to do to me, uh, was also quite horrific in, in the fact. Some of them even laid out racism was another factor, a reason why they would not want to move me from a Pacific home. So I don't really know if the foster care cycle is necessarily better in this case, but again, at this point in time, I think it is better despite how bad the foster care system is, just because of the, the fact that these kids have gone through. They should have been through an adoption center at the very least, not a foster care uh, cycle at all. Uh, I think uh, there's a lot of things. But enough of that. We're going to be going through this uh, thing here and, and going through it. Uh, I will skip a little bit because some of the things is already things I've said throughout the video. So that being said, uh, we'll get into it and all that stuff. So let's go. All of it. She was doing a story. She said they're wanting it to be out in the public. They want more people to know. This is not the time to be doing this because this is to support the two children. But if you want to do pictures or story, then you need to reach out to the attorney or the sheriff's department or whatever, like, not just come in here and start doing this. Technically, it would be called trespassing for what you're doing without permission. We're under a lot of court order about what we can discuss and what we can't discuss about this thing. We were told that if anybody was here to come here to cause disruption or a problem or uh, make a scene or for media purposes, they were going to be asked to leave. I want to tell the story that happened Why do you here? want to tell a story about this? Because this has gone off. I think it's important that people know that something well, horrible like this it's happened already, it's already out there. No, no more needs to be known. It's, it's better that people just not know about what happened here. I think the bigger reason why you don't want things to be known is because you want to save your own ass. You don't want your ability to... Uh, 
have it be able you want the ability to be able to sell your house and only for your greedy and the dirty purposes this is the evil tree of the human pe race people this is not somebody that would uh, automatically just be a kind-hearted person if this was me I would instantly be more than compliant on releasing what actually happened in this terrible story in fact I would more than likely after the story was done probably destroy it and never want it to be seen again just because of the dark history. But this man is just defending it, trying to cover it up, saying this is not a problem. They don't want to be talked about here. You are an evil man, and you are just as big a problem as anybody else in this. Stop defending violent criminals and these monsters that perpetrated god-awful things in this house. Today, okay? Or, or through the week, just for the fact that it, it's, it's uncomfortable to some people. A lot of people... You know, there's a reason why this isn't a big media blowout, because this is something that is just the reason why this is not a big media blowout is because the media will not try to betray their LGBTQ plus community. They will not try to label some but these group of people, these monsters, which I don't even know if monsters is even the correct term for these for these demons, because no human should be able to be allowed to do, do this to children. And the media will be silent on it. Fox News has not talked about this. The great and gr um, amazing Fox News, a lot of conservatives would like to say that is amazing, will not talk about this evil tree that's been going on in this house. So, a lot of the media is, a, oh, you should know that the media is a bunch of BS, all right? The media is not going to cover something as horrific as this. Believe it or not, I hate to say it, this happens all the time. This is not the first house where people with children were it's just an uncomfortable situation that people just don't like to talk about yes that they took her house they seized the house everything inside of it all of our cars on the property they they, they took our house because they think there was extra money coming in from somewhere and we we're like in our 30s and we have this big giant house and they didn't think we could afford it. I don't need fireworks, I have my own firework. The state sees their property, they haven't worked in a year, they're painless, they have nothing. They want to search it because it's the film studio. This video that I have that you possess is a 10 year old child performing oral sex on an adult. Two young individuals that the defendant and his and William had adopted um, when they were 9, 10, 11 years old, that they committed various and numerous times sexual acts. So what I will read here is something that, you, that the people or the listeners cannot hear. It says here that Zachary would be physically be in the bed recording when William it's against them uh, was in the bed. Oral sex. And, and uh, all that stuff. And it says the boys that would say that, that it hurt. That, that hurt when they were anally penetrated. So, you know, there, there's that. Sex and um, anal sex. William and Zachary would just walk them through how to just handle the pain. Both in their interviews, William and, and Zachary describe bringing the boys down from their bedrooms down downstairs into their bedroom. So they started on Grinder. His Snapchat friend would create the content with his sons at their home. He had been invited multiple times to partake. He received multiple messages from Zachary to the extent that he said, stand by, I'm going to f*** my son tonight. It wasn't just a one-time occasion. Zach would send him unsolicited messages and statements about what he would do to his son. Did you hear about the case at all? I did not know. I got this through the, uh, the state sales.net and I didn't see anything about that stated on there. This is a thing that that uh, that the what our overarch, what our great people would do, the evil government.
See, people would not label what's going on here like things uh, as dangerous and horrific as the public here is being shown. The reason why I'm showing it is because I want this type of stuff to be exposed. I have seen too many to where the LGBTQ community has been committing atrocities across this country. Now, I'm not saying that any normal straight person can't do this. Well, there's plenty of them that do, th that do this horrendous and barbaric stuff. So, it's not just the LGBTQ community. However... The fact of the matter is that we want to label as the LBGQ community as this innocent, safe type of community when in fact it's not any better, if not possibly worse, than some of the other communities. These people are, are obviously promoting uh, to, uh, uh, to have the kids have trans surgery, which is irreversible and causing irreparable damage to them. They want to be able to ha go after the kids, which they have been multiple times in the videos saying they would go after kids. And then they are defended by the media constantly over and over again and will not be, uh, and will not be crucified by the media. Or by the people themselves. And I'm here to crucify them. I'm here to show the dark side of that community as well. There's a dark side to every community. And until we start realizing that this, that these things need to be brought to light. Just to show well, on the evil tree of some of these people. It might make things, you know, might just make people turn their heads. Because we all know if people actually saw this and what these two people did, and then seeing what all the other videos of what this, what that community technically does, it may not like them. And already, people that are talking about the LGBTQ community, it's already down. People already do not like this community. It's decreasing as the years go by, possibly even months at this point. They didn't say anything as we were waiting in line either. When I came in and I saw all of the kids' things, I was like, gosh, I wonder what happened. That was my first impression, and I think for most of us it was, because you know something happened. They're young. You can tell that they were young. When you see all these children's toys, what, what was your first impression of that? My kids would go crazy here with all these things and like all the collections and the, all this yeah. stuff. They would love it. This is like a kid's dream. If I was a kid, I would be in heaven in this house. It's weird because when we go around the house, we were noticing, we were talking about it, all the cameras are in every corner. So that was a little weird because you don't see cameras usually around the house unless they were paranoid about what they had in here. So I will read the things that are on the screen for the people that are just, you know, listening. It says, William and Zachary were arrested on July 27, 2022 during a late night raid on the Zulog mansion. 17 account indictment charged the Zulogs with incest, aggravated sodomy, aggravated child molestation, sexual exploitation of children, and prostitution of a minor. Proceeds from the estate sale are allegedly going towards a trust fund that's established on behalf of the abused boy. The boys' underwear used bedsheets, mattresses from the bachelor bedroom, guest room, and children's room were among the hundreds of items for sale. All the couple's wgq themed belongings were removed beforehand and out of sight. Both boys are back in foster care following the midnight search and research and research mission. The jury may be expected to testify at trial. Uh, spousal privilege immunity is being considered in the case wherein William and Zachary will be tried separately. Dates have not been set for the jury trials as of yet. If convicted, each defendant is facing over nine licenses. Zachary, the cameraman, allegedly sent the child pornography less than a dozen pedophiles. At least two other men have been indicted in connection to the Zulok child prostitution in Ring. There are still suspects out there under investigation. I'm talking to people watching. Hey, Facebook Live, wherever you are. Wherever you are. And these are the monsters that are living across us in society. This is a dark day. This is a dark time. But the reason why I cover this is not to make people hate the LGBTQ community. What I'm doing here is to show what is going on, what the what this story was defended by, protected by against the media and never talked about. I want to report on this because of the evil tree that has been going on in this country and what is being defended, etc., etc. This was disgusting in every way possible, and I'm glad that I was able to at least bring some of this to light. Thanks to Mia Cathol and Town Hall to actually produce this story. And if you guys want to see more, you can just go to Town Hall about the whole story, because I'm, this is the biggest thing ever.
And the fact that these uh, real estate agents did not want people to know so they can just sell this house so they can collect money and stuff like that is a true evil tree of the humankind right there. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Let's go share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease, the social media.